गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस इज नाइन्थ क्लास एंड दिस इज द चैप्टर थर्ड ऑफ इकोनॉमिक पॉवर्टी एज अ चैलेंज हेयर जोगिंदर कुमार इज स्पीकिंग स्टूडेंट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव रीड अबाउट पॉवर्टी पॉवर्टी लाइन एंड इंटर स्टेट डिस्पैरिटीज एंड ऑल्सो पॉवर्टी अकॉर्डिंग टू द सोशल साइंटिस्ट वन रेलेबरेटरी एंड सोशल एक्सक्लूजन हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर चैप्टर फ्राम द ग्लोबल पॉवर्टी सिनारियो एज वर्ल्ड बैंक डिफाइन एवरेज पॉवर्टी रेसो इज डॉलर वन पॉइंट नाइन पर डे सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द डाटाज प्रोवाइडेड बाई वर्ल्ड बैंक द डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज आर लिविंग इन एक्सट्रीम इकोनॉमिक पॉवर्टी पॉवर्टी डिक्लाइन सबस्टेंशनली इन चाइना साउथ ईस्ट एशियन कंट्रीज एंड लाइक रशियन रशिया बट नाउ डेज वी कैन सी दैट देर ऑल्सो एन इंक्रीमेंट इन पॉवर्टी रेशो इन रशिया In sub-Saharan African countries, in fact, the poverty ratio rose up. Fifty-four percent in nineteen ninety, and forty-one percent in two thousand thirteen. Means, here's the poverty ratio is high, rather than the other countries of the world. You can see the graph. Here's the share of people living on dollar 1.9 means which is a poverty ratio means a uh, two poverty ratio of a per day in 1990 and 2013 so you can see in the picture which is shown by the blue color china china has poverty ratio Around six uh, above sixty five in nineteen ninety, but you can see in two thousand thirteen, it has a very low poverty ratio, means which is near to uh, five per uh, five poverty ratio. Clear? So, and Eastern Asian countries also, and East Asia and Pacific countries also decrease. They are poverty ratio. Now, National Sample Survey of India. This is an organization which surveys about poverty in India. This is a uh, called an SSO. It surveys periodically after normally five years. For making a comparison between the developing countries, many international organizations. like the world bank use uniform standard for poverty line that is minimum availability of the equivalent of dollar 1.90 per person according to uh, 2001 pp per day now the causes of poverty reasons the poverty policies of the colonial government ruined the traditional handicraft and discouraged the development of industrial industries like the textile industry and iron ore industry in india but after the first and second world war the indian industries has uh, rose their production no equal effect of green revolution in the all states of india because of some parts benefited more like haryana and punjab but there is no product more production in the other states unable to find proper job in the cities by the youths many people started as a rickshaw puller vendor construction worker or the domestic servant like work so if we, uh, if they continued in such type of work 
they will uh, they live in the poor conditions with the irregular small income such type of people cannot afford expensive housing there is a huge income inequality in india major policy initiative like land reforms are not implemented in the rural areas effectively lack of land resources is a major cause so poverty has rose up and rose up now next is lack of land resources is a major cause many so cultural and economical or the social factors are also responsible for poverty small farmers need money to buy agriculture input like the seeds fertilizers pesticides due to the lack of money they are unable to afford high rates of interest in rural areas is also cause of poverty now we will see some anti poverty measures which are used in india first is mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act 2005 the aim of this act is to provide 100 days wages or the employment to every household to ensure the livelihood securing in rural areas it also aimed as a sustainable development to address the causes of drought deforestation and the soil erosion sorry one third of proposed jobs have been reserved for women the scheme provided employment uh, to 220 crore person a day of employment which is about 4.78 crore households share of st scs and the women person days in the scheme is 23% 17% and 53% respectively now some other anti poverty measures prime minister rozgar yojana which was launched in 1993 rural employment generation program 1995 swarna jayanti gram sojar swarozgar yojana 1999 प्रधानमंत्री ग्रामोदय योजना 2000 एंड अंतोदय अन्न योजना ए ए वाई नाउ व्हाट आर द चैलेंजेस बिफोर अस टू रिमूव पॉवर्टी स्टूडेंट वी हैव मैनी चैलेंजेस फर्स्ट टू रिड्यूस वाइड डिस्पैरिटीज इन पॉवर्टी व्हिच आर विजिबल बिटवीन द रूरल एंड द अर्बन एरियाज एंड अमंग द डिफरेंट स्टेट्स second is how the higher economic growth may be received third is stress on universal free elementary education because of if we invest in education we lead and uh, we we can get more and more uh, money and standard decline of population growth is also a challenge how we can reduce our population to increase empowerment of women and economic weaker sections of the society provide health care and job opportunities for all and security of all how poverty may be reduced poverty ko kaise kam kiya ja sakta hai ye tarike kuch idhar diye gaye hain wo dekh lete hain poverty implementation of the government uh, policies for women and weaker sections of the society means if uh, we proper implement the government policies we can reduce the poverty second provide loan and setting up the banks in the rural areas to provide loan at a low interest rate third is after increasing production or growth in agricultural 
or as well as in the industrial sector, poverty may be reduced. Fourth, investment on human resource through education, healthcare, training, poverty may be reduced. Next is to increase the healthy and wealthy individuals to setting up the different industries. It also be reduce the poverty. Thank you. Have a nice day, student.